this corridor, it's uh, protecting or reducing the pressure on something beneath it. It might be chamber, it might be something else. Very soon we can figure out what is the main issue of this uh, corridor. Thanks to archaeologists and their discoveries, we know quite a bit about the Earth's history. However, there are times when archaeological finds raise more questions than answers. From discovering an infant Buddha statue to evidence of animal evolution, join us as we look at the 15 most controversial archaeological finds in history. Number 15. The Tomb of Jesus The story of Jesus is the most famous in the world. It is the story of a man born in a lowly manger who grew into a teacher and had 12 disciples following him. Jesus would later go on to be crucified by the Romans. He was buried in a tomb, which he eventually rose out of on the third day. The first four books of the New Testament, known as the Canonical Gospels, are thought to have been written some decades after Jesus' crucifixion, approximately in the year 30 AD. These books provide the oldest descriptions of Jesus' burial. Even though the specifics differ, the narratives all agree that Christ was interred in a rich Jewish tomb by a disciple named Joseph of Arimathea's rock-cut tomb. More than a thousand of these rock-cut tombs have been found in the region surrounding Jerusalem, according to Jody Magnus, an archaeologist and National Geographic grantee. These family tombs included one or more burial rooms with long niches carved into the rock faces to hold separate remains. Jewish custom prohibited interment within a city's walls, and the Gospels document that Jesus was buried outside of Jerusalem, close to the location of his Golgotha, also known as the Place of Skulls, crucifixion. The Jerusalem walls were widened a few years after the burial is claimed to have taken place, enclosing Golgotha and the surrounding tomb. Number 14. Infant Buddha as they planned to produce a documentary about the French exploration of Australia in 2018, a pair of Australian filmmakers conducted metal detector runs in the outback of Western Australia. The movie was planned to follow a search for scientific equipment that the 1818-03 Bodine expedition is thought to have left behind. They discovered something that might be even more extraordinary, but there was no sign of exploration throughout the Napoleonic era. Experts estimate that the bronze Buddha figurine, which stood 15 centimeters tall and weighed little more than one kilogram, was most likely created in China hundreds of years ago. The filmmakers, Leon Deschamps and Shane Thompson, have been attempting to solve the puzzle of how the figure came to be by the side of the road at Shark Bay since they discovered it in 2018. They think the Buddha could hold the key to rewriting history indicating that explorers from the Ming Dynasty may have traveled to Australia hundreds of years ago. Number 13. Animal Evolution We are familiar with human evolution. Anyone who took their biology classes seriously should know what basic evolution looks like. However, have you ever wondered how animals sprang onto the scene? It is estimated that life on Earth has been on for about 4.5 billion years, but for most of the 4.5 billion years, life was mostly in bacterial form. Fossils are the primary source of information on evolutionary events that occurred hundreds of millions of years ago. Shells, exoskeletons, and bones made by living animals are examples of familiar fossils. Slightly less than 540 million years ago, during the Cambrian explosion, these so-called hard parts were first found in rocks. The seemingly abrupt emergence of a wide variety of sophisticated species, many of which have hard parts, suggests that earlier soft-bodied organisms without hard parts underwent a period of evolution from simpler animals. Regretfully until now, there has been very little and ambiguous evidence of fossil creatures during the period of hidden evolution, making it difficult to determine the exact date and type of evolutionary events. Number 12. Akhenaten Medallion Pharaoh. Akhenaten was one of the most popular pharaohs that lived in Egypt. He is known to be the father of Tutankhamun and the husband to Queen Nefertiti. Apart from being the father and husband of two popular figures, he was also known for having a strangely shaped body. Akhenaten had wide hips, similar to those of a well-shaped woman. He also had an elongated head, almond eyes, and womanly breasts. 
Representations of the Akhenaten in early depictions depicted him to have normal features. However, when he became a worshipper of the sun god, his depictions became ambiguous. Having wide hips and womanly breasts isn't the only strange thing about Akhenaten. He owned a strange medallion. The medallion depicted a flying saucer disc that resembles a flying vehicle. At the top of the medallion, there seems to be an alien gray. The discovery of the medallion is controversial because it proves that extraterrestrial beings may exist. Number 11. Gate of the Gods Aramumuru, sometimes spelled Aramumuro, or known as Hayumarka, is an intriguing and enigmatic archaeological site located in the Puno region of Peru, near Lake Titicaca. Its most distinctive feature is a massive stone arch or doorway carved directly into a solid rock face. This unique formation has earned it the nickname Gate of the Gods, or Puerta de Hayumarca. Aramumuru has captured the imagination of many due to its mysterious appearance and the absence of clear historical records about its origin and purpose. It has led to many theories and speculations, including claims of ancient civilizations with advanced stone-cutting techniques, potential connections to extraterrestrial beings, or spiritual and mystical significance. The site remains a subject of fascination and debate, with its true history and the reasons behind its construction continuing to elude definitive explanation. Number 10. Antikythera Mechanism On May 17, 1901, sponge divers stumbled upon the Antikythera Mechanism within the remains of a shipwreck. Dating back to 150 BC and 100 BC, this ancient marvel baffled experts for decades. While its age was determined, its true purpose remained a mystery until recently. Recent revelations suggest that the Antikythera mechanism might have functioned as an astronomical calculator, aiding in the tracking of celestial bodies. What continues to astonish scientists is the remarkable sophistication of this device, far ahead of its time. The origins and creators of this advanced machine raise intriguing questions. Could there be similar devices from ancient civilizations waiting to be uncovered, shedding light on past technological achievements? The Antikythera mechanism stands as a testament to the ingenuity of our ancestors, challenging our understanding of ancient technology. Number 9. Footprints on Crete The ancient footsteps known as the Crete footprints, or Trachelos footprints, were found in 2002 on the Greek island of Crete. These footprints, estimated to be 5.7 million years old, cast doubt on accepted notions of the migration of early humans. The tracks are made up of several prints, one of which has five toes to resemble a human foot, because they come before the generally recognized timing for the emergence of upright walking hominins. This has caused controversy within the scientific community. The finding of these footprints pushes back history by millions of years, indicating that hominins capable of bipedalism, walking on two legs, existed considerably earlier than previously believed. The discovery casts doubt on the early hominins' ability to traverse huge distances and spread outside Africa. The Crete footprints offer valuable insight into the evolution of human ancestors and have spurred further research and discussions about our understanding of human origins and migration. Number 8. Tartaria Tablets The Tartaria Tablets were discovered by archaeologist N. Vlasa, who excavated this site in 1961. Archaeologists referred to the discovery site as a ritual pit that also contained two cycladic alabaster idols, 26 burnt clay idols, and a man's dismembered and burned bones. This place is a magic religious complex, according to N. Vlasa. Dr. Vamos Toth Bator's research suggests that the man with the dismembered parts was most likely a priest who died in a fire and was buried with ceremonial objects he cherished while still alive, despite Dr. Vlasa's suggestion that he was likely a sacrifice. There is debate regarding the content of the three Tartaria tablets. Some think the etchings are a primitive form of writing, while others believe they are pictograms, haphazard scribbles, religious symbols, or ownership symbols. Until now, no one has been able to definitively decipher the Tartaria tablets, though several researchers have claimed that the signs have similarities to Proto-Sumerian, Pre-Dynastic Egyptian, Libico-Berber, Proto-Elamite, and Trojan writing. Number 7. Bust of Nefertiti In 1912, a German archaeological team uncovered the Nefertiti bust in Amarna. 
The primary record of this remarkable find can be found in Borchardt's notebook. The discovery triggered a contentious dispute between German and Egyptian authorities regarding its repatriation. Some people have also alluded that the discovery of the bust is modern forgery. Whether the bust is real or not is still up for debate. Nefertiti, a figure cloaked in mystery, is believed by many to have had royal lineage, or possibly to have been a visiting princess or a child of A, a high-ranking government official who later became king after Tutankhamun. Some previously thought she died in the twelfth year of Akhenaten's reign, but research indicates she was alive and well in the sixteenth year. Following her husband's death, Nefertiti briefly ruled Egypt as a monarch. The Egyptian bust of Nefertiti measures 1 foot 6.898 inches and features a limestone core with painted stucco layers. The face is nearly symmetrical, though the left eye lacks inlay, unlike the right, which has a quartz pupil set in beeswax. The eye socket is backed with plain limestone. Number 6. Lost Chamber in Pyramid the issue of the pyramids has been one that has drawn controversy over the years. Till today, no one is certain how the pyramids came about and their true purpose. Controversy surrounding these pyramids gets even more strange. No thanks to the recent discovery of a chamber above the Great Pyramid. The Great Pyramid of Giza stands as one of Egypt's most renowned pyramids, shrouded in both magnificence and mystery. Over time, it has consistently unveiled secrets of the distant past, and its revelations show no sign of slowing. In March of this year, Egyptian authorities made a thrilling announcement. They had discovered a concealed corridor just above the pyramid's entrance. Researchers utilized non-invasive scanning methods to identify voids containing hidden chambers and passageways at the pyramid's threshold. This newfound corridor raises the intriguing question, could it be the original entrance to the Great Pyramid? This query has ignited excitement within the archaeological community. By harnessing cosmic ray imaging and infrared thermography, we hope to eventually unlock the secrets concealed within these chambers, as they may hold the key to unraveling the enigmatic history of ancient Egypt. Number 5. Mummified Crocodiles if you are an avid watcher of archaeological finds, you are not new to discoveries concerning human mummies. However, what you are probably new to are discoveries that involve mummified animals such as crocodiles. In 2018, archaeologists made a fascinating discovery, a dump from the Byzantine era containing mummified crocodiles. What sets these crocodile mummies apart is that they weren't preserved with resin, as was the common practice for other mummies of the time. Uncovering these mummified crocodiles has given researchers a unique opportunity to gain insights into the lives of these ancient creatures. Among the findings were the remains of ten adult crocodiles, likely the formidable Nile crocodile species, which could reach lengths between 6 to 11.5 feet. These specimens were unearthed from a tomb at Kubat al-Hawa on the west bank of the Nile River. Remarkably, there were no signs of foul play. The crocodiles appeared to have perished due to the harsh desert sun and thirst. In ancient Egypt, crocodiles held a revered status and were considered deities, with Sobek, the lord of crocodiles, being one of the associated gods. Crocodile mummies were crafted as offerings to these deities to seek their favor. Traditional mummification practices involving moisture removal with substances like natron and subsequent resin and bandage wrapping were applied to these crocodile remains. Number 4. Voynich Manuscript. The Voynich Manuscript is one of the most mysterious and undecipherable texts in history. Named after Wilfred Voynich, who acquired it in 1912, the manuscript dates back to the early 15th century. It consists of 240 pages filled with an unknown script, intricate illustrations of plants, astronomical diagrams, and bizarre, often fantastical drawings of unknown origin. The script, known as Voynichesi, has confounded linguists, cryptographers, and scholars for centuries. Despite numerous attempts, no one has successfully deciphered its meaning, and the text remains indecipherable. The purpose and origins of the Voynich manuscript are equally enigmatic. The nature of its content, including the depictions of unknown plants and astronomical configurations, has led to various theories, including claims of alchemical, herbal, or even extraterrestrial knowledge. This ancient enigma continues to captivate researchers and enthusiasts, 
with countless efforts to unveil its secrets. Still, the Voynich Manuscript remains an enduring mystery, challenging the boundaries of human knowledge and linguistics. Number 3. Shroud of Turin One of the most famous and hotly contested artifacts in the Christian world is the Shroud of Turin. It's a 14-foot-long linen fabric with a faint figure of a man with crucifixion wounds on his front and back that many believe to be Jesus Christ. The history of the Shroud is unknown. It originated in medieval France and eventually traveled to Turin, Italy, where it has been kept since the 16th century. The Shroud's authenticity has been the focus of heated debate. Some people think that because of the corresponding crucifixion wounds, it is Jesus' burial garment. However, some have questioned the image's provenance and date, speculating that it might be a medieval fabrication. Although the results of a 1988 carbon dating study seem to point to a medieval origin, these findings have also been contested. Certain academics contend that samples collected for examination could have become tainted over the ages. The exact origins and importance of the Shroud of Turin remain a mystery, beloved by Christians but regarded with skepticism by many scientists. It is still the focus of scientific and religious investigation. Number 2. Saxay Uaman Wall the Incas built the Saxay Uaman fortifications in the 15th century. Because of their well-constructed, uneven shape, the walls have begun to astonish scientists. With some of these walls weighing more than 100 tons, how were the Incas able to construct them? Numerous theories have been proposed. According to some scientists, the Incas connected the walls using ropes and ramps. When some proposed that extraterrestrial creatures assisted in placing these walls, the hypotheses become even more bizarre. Indeed, the walls are a sight to behold. With a height of 27 feet 10.646 inches, the largest stone is guaranteed to dwarf a man. It's still unclear how ancient civilizations constructed such a masterpiece, even with all the explanations offered regarding the Saxay Uaman wall. Saxay Uaman's enormous, zigzag shaped wall, a magnificent example of expert stonework is its most notable feature. There is no mortar used to assemble the largest stones in this wall, which weighs several hundred tons. Archaeologists continue researching and disagree about how the Inca moved and positioned these massive stones. Because Sacsayhuaman was the scene of a crucial conflict between the Inca and the Spanish conquistadors in the 16th century, it is also significant historically. The site continues to draw tourists from all over the world as a tribute to the incredible craftsmanship of the Inca civilization, even after centuries of weathering and conflict. Number 1. Faistos Disc One of the most mysterious archaeological discoveries in history is the Faistos Disc. Debatable aspects of the Faistos Disc include almost everything. The Faistos Disc, found in 1908 during excavations at the Minoan Palace of Faistos in Crete, has roughly 241 spirally organized symbols covering each side. Despite the scientific community's greatest efforts, the language and symbols on this mysterious disc remain untranslated. Some have speculated that it might have been a board game, while others think it might be an illustration of an undiscovered type of writing. The disc's age is estimated to be from around 1700 BC, during the Minoan civilization, making it one of the earliest examples of printing in the ancient world. Its purpose and the language it represents remain debatable, with various theories positing it as a religious object, a calendar, or even a form of writing. The Phaistos disc remains a strange artifact, and its true significance continues to elude scholars.